everybody at selectionpdq.com. I'm going to take you through doing multiple steps in an install package so that you can take, you know, just a really basic package and, you know, make it do more things for you. So let's just start out by selecting new package. And uh, let's say I want to make a package that installs uh, Firefox and Flash for Firefox. And we can just call that my, you know, Mozilla, you know, install kind of a thing. So first thing, new step, we're going to grab a nested package. My nested package is, I'm just going to go grab the Firefox package. And then we're going to do another one. Next step, we'll grab Flash for Firefox. Flash for Firefox right there. All right, so I've got two steps, and it's pretty basic. Install one, install the other. But you know what? Let's say I wanted to pause in between the two, because let's say Mozilla needed to do some configuration, or I was concerned that the end user, you know, whatever reason, I need to put a sleep step in there. So new, I'm going to grab a sleep step. You notice it just dropped it down here, 15 seconds. We're going to, yeah, we'll say it's, it needs to wait 30 seconds. We'll change the time, and this actually needs to be step two, not step three. So I'm just going to move that up. So now, according to the steps in our package, we've got install Firefox. It's going to wait 30 seconds. It's going to install Flash for Firefox. And then, you know, because I'm going to do this in the evening and not catch my end users, we'll put a reboot step in there just to make sure that, you know, it clears any of the install, you know, deals that it flags in your registry kind of thing. So reboot step and, <clears throat> you know, me being the sysadmin from, well, you know, heck, I like to give my end users two seconds and uh, tell them, dare you to save your data. And then have a reboot. And of course, because I'm such a good typist, I only have two seconds to read it and figure out I don't spell well. But so at this point, again, here's my steps. Now, some things you guys can think about adding to these kind of things. Let's say, uh, <clears throat> you wanted to add a config file. Again, you could do a file copy step here to add that config file that maybe Mozilla needs or any of your other files. But ultimately, um, if you're like me, I built this and I probably should have named it before, but we're going to call this the complete Firefox install. Wow. And now <clears throat> save my package and there you go. Here it is, complete Firefox install. So when I install this on, you know, my end users are getting Firefox, they're getting Flash, they're getting a reboot. Again, you know, you can add the different steps to do the different things you need and uh, that's the takeaway. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch y'all later.